Hello everyone, it's Ryan Nelson. I want to welcome you to the War Room. Um, I put this together. It's a big scribbled mess right now, but hopefully um, it makes a little sense by the time it's over with. Uh, that at the webinar I was talking about creating a, a clear, um, clean architecture so when Google hits your website, it understands what your website is about and can navigate fluidly and find all of your pages. So real quickly, I'm just going to go over the do's and don'ts. Um, first thing, the don't you want to do is you don't want to have home as a link. You don't want to have services about and contact. Um, the first thing you want to do is identify what topic or niche your uh, blog is about. And we're going to say this is the dog blog. Um, it's about dog walking. So over here, we might change the home link to dog blog. We'll change the services link to pet services. We're going to change the about to dog walkers. Um, the contact, we can leave contact, but typically what you want to do is just no follow or no index that because we don't care if Google sees it. It, it really doesn't do us any good um, if someone lands on your contact page. Uh, you want them to land on your sales page. Uh, the second thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to go in and identify keywords and topics that are going to be your categories. What you don't want to do is have hundreds and hundreds of categories. You want to really narrow your niche down and figure out exactly what you're trying to target. So dog walking, dog training, pet services, pet secrets, dog health, and pet owners. That's what I am trying to, to target if I'm a dog walker. I don't want to have pet names. I don't want to have um, you know, uh, me and my dog or days at the park. You want to really have targeted keywords and I really like to tell people keep it at five to six um, unless you're a huge website you don't need hundreds of categories you can have five or six and and find what category is most relevant to the post you just posted so if you write a post five tips on walking your dog put it in the dog walking and put it in the pet secrets reason why when Google hits your website and it hits the dog walking page it's going to see dog walking and then it's going to see a post about dog walking and then it's going to see a post that's relevant to dog walking how about um, a day at the park you know uh, you know these are these are just the blogs that you're putting together your personal blogs whatever make sure you can identify and before you write keep this in mind because what Google sees is dog walking something related to dog walking another thing about walking your dog you know, in these different posts, it gives this category and this page more relevance for the keyword dog walking because it has all this information about dog walking. If you have this scattered within hundreds of categories, you lose this powerful relevance of all these pages being on the same page. So you want to make sure that you have everything categorized um, correctly. Uh, now that you have that set up and you have your header correct, and you have categories identified in your content you're going to want to sit down and think about your goals and think about how what people what you want people to see in the search engine so for instance if you hit dog walking you may want to link the dog walking to your dog walking category this creates link flow that when when google hits this page it's going to hit hit your category and it's going to say dog walking when it hits this page it's going to hit the link that says dog walking and then within your blog post anywhere you have dog walking they keep linking back to this page and that tells google exactly what that page is see if you have click here or learn more google thinks the page is called learn more the more you have the exact word within the link the better it's going to be for um, your pages and categories now for instance, the pet services page. You may not want to link it to the pet services category. You may want to link it to your sales page, the pet services in your navigation bar, your sales page where you have your services. But within your category, you're going to have pet services written inside of posts and blogs. You want to link those back as well to pet services. You can link other words like dog services, um, you know, a, a pet care those kind of things you can link back to your pet service if they're related key terms and relevant to your keyword pet services um, dog health 
you may link to your dog health category. Um, pet owners, you'll link to your pet owners category. And what this does is it tells Google this is dog walking and, and uh, this is dog health and this is pet owner and everything inside of this pet services category is telling me this is the pet service page. So it's a good roadmap. It's, it's basically a site map for Google is when you're doing this internal linking and you set up a clear architecture and hierarchy of your website because you don't want subcategories you want just categories because you want everything to be within three links from the home page so it indexes well. And if you have dog walking and then you have tips and then you have products and then you have um, you know, pricing, that's one, two, three, four, five clicks from your home page. You don't want that. You want them to click on dog walking and there's your dog walking blog. They can use their search bar to find what they're looking for or you can uh, systematically put the post you want people to read towards the top um, but to uh, have millions of categories and subcategories it just does not help this right here is a controversial thing I don't believe tags are good I think they're terrible um, because if you have user-generated content people put random stuff in there so if I wrote an article called um, you know dog walking today I might put my dog's name is a tag, my name is a tag, dog is a tag, and training is a tag, which really has kind of relevance with the article, but it's not helping your SEO. It's just pushing link juice to other words and other tags that don't really well, make sense. This has been a, a little bit informative. I know the webinar, I, I, it's typically a lot better laid out. I kind of threw this together, but um, I really wanted to, to dial this in and, and hopefully help you guys that had some questions um, and anyone else, if you're on the website just seeing this for the first time, I hope this is useful. Uh, thank you for your time. Come back to the War Room. We do it every Wednesday, um, and we show something uh, new about SEO. As well, check out 127s if you've not got it yet. Thank you so much.